80% of dudes rapping, they ain't nice as me 98% ain't live the same type of life as me The judge gave me life and then they sent me where the life is be That level forward depth and vice, the type of stuff they like to see Two choices, fight or flee, I refuse to die a chump I've never been a mark, but damn it's scary when that riot jump I've seen dudes cry, get pumped, or some sexually brutalized I knew a dude who lost his life and he was only doing five Year long racial fights when homie all you do is ride Lonely days and nights have been a whole cause in suicide From the moment you arrive, you see the Mexican Mafia AB skinheads with big giant swastikas Pro-black philosophers, the BGF, the Kumi And Muslims who will murk you from the nation to the Sunni That MS was loony, quick to ride up on they rival Even Christians went to church, hide knives up in a Bible Political and tribal, the Crips and Damus The Long Beast, the Hubs and the Dubs and the Grooves The IE, the Bakersfield the day go pie rules the hustlers quick to roll the gangsters don't move whatever click you choose you better... say what's cracking youtube it's your boy 16 to life and i'm back like i'm on a pro violation you're down now today we got something special going on we got story time with og chances so og chances take it away first of all i'd like to say asante sana to my homeboy chill which means thank you very much for having me on your podcast my name is og chances my home that i place i call home is san bernardino i'm from the notorious ie i fall up under the ie umbrella the ie is a collaboration between san bernardino and riverside and all the cadre sets that lives within there you have the Crips and you have Bloods. And when we come together, we form a black rag. And, um, well, time is an essence, and I don't have much time today. So I'll just give you something that happened to me or something I seen up in Pelican Bay. Now, as you know, Pelican Bay, the era I was there, it was the modern day Alcatraz. Everybody from everybody that was in Pelican Bay, they, they felt as though it was Billy Badass and Johnny Tough Guy. Everybody there had life, double life, without the possibility of parole, plus 100 years ran consecutive. One day, now in Pelican Bay, during my era, when you walked in a building, you had to stand in a straight line. And the police would pat you, the COs would pat you down before you go in the building. So one day, you know, I'm, I'm waiting to go in the building, you know, and uh, there's a line. So in the line, I always stand sideways so I can see on I can see who's on this side of me and see who's on that side of me. Keep it my Usalama. Usalama is security and protection. So uh so so one day, now 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 the whites, they call themselves the woodpile. And which I have much respect for them because they're soldiers. They 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 very structured and they disciplined. Even though you have individuals that I may not like, but nevertheless, I'm standing in line to go in the building, and uh, the ward next to me, he says, he says, uh, say, he says, say, bro, can I, can I step in front of you, man? I got some business I got to handle. So I say, sure, man. I step to the side. I step to the side. So he steps in front of me. But now when I, when I step to the side, I'm keeping Usalama. And because uh, I'm looking, I don't know. I'm jumping in, I, you know, security on myself. I don't know what the hell going on. So so he's standing in, fa in, in, in back of another wood, another white boy. And the white boy that he's standing behind puts up his arms to get patted down. He's getting patted down. All of a sudden, I see the white boy that asked to get past me. He comes out with a key suit. He had a bone crusher. A key suit is, is a knife. A, he has a big knife. I mean, the kind that break bones when you hit somebody with it. So, right? So, when a white, so when while the white boy sticks his hands up in the air to get patted down, the wood, he hits him in the neck. He hits him in the neck. Bow! Now, at first, I thought the, neck, the knife is stuck in his neck. But he didn't because he still had it in his hand. The white boy that he hit in the neck, he, he hit him in the throat, man. He hit him in the throat. He falls straight backwards and he hits his head first. His head hit the ground for the rest of his body. Now, the CO, now, I'm not going to say, okay, now, now, he, he ran to the, he ran, he ran to the door. He broke off running, man. Now, I'm not going to say.
say that he ran like a little girl. And I'm not going to say when he got the band on the door, he started squiddling like a pig. I'm not going to say that. I'll just say he went back to the building quickly and start hollering, let me in. So the gun tower hollers out. He ho The gun tower got the mini 14 in which he was in the window the whole time. He's hollering, get him, get him, get him. So everybody goes to get out. But before we get out, everybody's looking around because we're trying to figure out what's going down. Because you don't want to get down on the ground and somebody's running at you with a knife. So, so everybody, you know, so we all get down. Now, the white boy that had the bone crusher, the key suit, he takes three steps backwards, man. He, take, he takes three steps backwards, right? And, and he throws down, he throws down the key suit, right? So, you know, they cuff him and they walk him across the yard. So all of a sudden you hear the whole yard, the whole wood pile, which is all the white, the white dudes, the white convicts. They hollering wood pile. No, they hollering peck of wood, peck of wood, peck of wood. So, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, now I have seen a lot of, uh, well, you know, I've seen a lot of stabbings, you know, and I, they, they claim that I was involved in quite a few myself. But nevertheless, nevertheless, this stayed in my mind because the way that it went down, man, it just was mine. Well, anyway, look, man, look. Well, you, you have to excuse me, too, because I'm old now. I'm 63 years old, you know, and, 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 and I've spent more time in prison than I have in my, um, in my, uh, in the free world. Um, you know, I, so, so, so I, I've been in numerous altercations. So I got head injuries, which causes me to have short term and long term memory loss. So I have to say things as it pops up in my head. Um, what that said, what that said, like I said, time is the essence. I don't have much time because I have an appointment that I have to go to, man. But I want you to know I have a book coming out soon. It'll be called OG Chances, Death Before Dishonor. Chilewa to everybody, man. I have to go. I'm out of here like the Jerry Curl, man. All right, Chill. It was an honor and a pleasure, bro. All right, Chilewa, man. You already know what Chilewa. time it is. OG Chances kicking one of his stories. Resume normal program. All right, bro. Bannon in the house, we in this bitch like the coffee tables or the couch. And we ain't leaving shit to security, walk us out. And we talking about anything you niggas talking about. Hey! Okay, Bannon in the house, we in this bitch like the coffee tables or the couch. And we ain't leaving shit to security, walk us out. And we talking about anything you niggas talking about. I'm the one around my way, I never say I got the best flow. A nigga wanna play, I dare his ass to try and press go. I run up on him fast, snatch his ass about his dress, bro. Keep something on my waist to light his face and make his chest glow. I'm talking major mess, ho. If my 40 cal roar, pop him, drop him, clean up, please on out for. What you talking loud for if you ain't prepared to handle that? Pop him in the head and leave his dress where his sandals at. Now they lighting candles at the spot where niggas scrape him. We don't talk a lot, just hit his block and yellow tape him. Smoke that boy and vape him. Beretta to his face. I did his ass a favor, sent him to a better place. Detectives on the case, but we don't do no talk. I just catch you home alone, boy, like you Macaulay talking See, I was night stalking like that one fool in the 80s When I whip my pistol barking like the Doberman with rabies Nigga, hey, okay Bannon in the house, we in this bitch like the coffee tables or the couch And we ain't leaving shit to security, walk us out And we talking about anything you think is talking about, hey Okay, Bannon in the house, we in this bitch like the coffee tables or the couch And we ain't leaving shit to security, walk us out And we talking about anything you think is talking about. My niggas rambunctious, they in the throwing bullets, they ain't in the throwing punches. Before I see a grave, I'd rather see some state lunches on the yard, pushing hard, doing pull-ups, dips, and crunches. Despite the hate, I navigate the streets without a compass. I'm walking on these beasts, I'm nigga Pete, what I accomplish. Hate to say 16, you talking shitty, getting pompous. What the fuck you niggas mean? I got my city going bonkers. I get a word, my folks will whip your head till you unconscious. Left and right, but all they might will leave you unresponsive. I shoot like Luka Doncic, and I ain't in the NBA. A nigga flagrant. Found me on my mama, I'ma spend the day Some of y'all is in the way Haters know what chill do I spit 16s and hit green like will do I represented Bannon in the pen And yeah, I still do Start some drama, nigga, on my mama, I'ma 
Batting in the house, we in this bitch like the coffee tables or the couch. And we ain't even shit, the security walk us out. And we talking about anything you niggas talking about. Hey, okay, batting in the house, we in this bitch like the coffee tables or the couch. And we ain't even shit, the security walk us out. And we talking about anything you niggas talking about.